Meet the Graviners, everybody's favorite dysfunctional family, starring Helen and Damien and Tallulah's Tiara as Tallulah's Tiara. This episode, nothing much happens. Turn that around, let's put that against the wall there. Give her... Um, put the... That back in, and let's start putting some decorations. We've still got... Uh, let's get down to about 500 simoleons, so we can, we've got enough money to put some stuff in here to make this place look pretty, so... Let's do it, shall we? And we'll start off by putting some curtains in of some description. Which, if I remember, in here. No, there's shutters anyway. Uh... Good lord. It's not surprising that everyone turns to custom content in this game, is it? Do those. See if we can play with the colour in those and see if we get something we like out of it. That's something that's really annoyed me about The Sims 3 is the, the curtains all clip through the windows. You know, this was all done, designed by EA, and couldn't they have sorted that out? It is really, really frustrating, really annoying in the way they do that. Yeah, she can have curtains that are the same colour as her formal dress. Yay! No, I don't like that. Really don't like that. Absolutely loathe that. Don't worry, I will change the floor colour. I'm just not entirely certain what I want to change it to yet. So I'm looking at other things instead, and I, no, I just don't like the way that those uh, those clip through. That bothers me. I'm just tempted to leave it the white, because that way it just doesn't look too hideous. Hello, Frankie. Welcome back to school from school. Uh, You've just missed um, everyone arguing for about three quarters of an hour on what colour to uh, to make Tallulah's uh, uh, clothes. Yeah, I'm I'm going with the white curtains as well. First of all, they look really good with the brown, and secondly, they look quite good with the windows. And third, they hide the clipping, which makes them look a little bit less hideous. So, I'm going with those. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to stick some stuff on the walls now and that and. Let's just make this look like a teenager's room a little bit. Oh, and she's going to keep the bed from when she was a child because most teenagers do. And right. Let's get a dresser in here to start off with. Um, what have we got? Not that one. Definitely not that one. Like that. That's to mirror behind that. We can decor mirrors. Not good. 
What do we have? Not quite right. I know I've done this one before. I'm actually warming to the idea of this one now. Tell you what, Magical Diary School Challenge, okay? Um, I'm not promising I will do it, but if you can come up with some interesting sets of rules, I will at least consider it somewhere, all right? So give her that mirror, and let's put some accessories on the dresser. Miscellaneous. Oh, we've run out of money already. Good Lord. So let's at least give her a few bits and pieces on the dresser and we'll ch change the carpet colours. <laughs> I'm afraid we're going to have to move on because we've run out of cash again. Uh, right, so let's see if we can find some uh, makeup bits and pieces like that and we'll put them on the dresser there. Right. I think we should have at least one of those because Auntie Ellen would be really annoyed if you didn't have some note paper nearby. Um, no. Marshmallow soup. Hello. Mask perfume. <laughs> Styling gadgets. Stuff needed to keep hair in order. No, that looks too industrial. I just want some. A hairbrush would be nice. Uh, just, do, just a few bits and pieces to make this thing actually look lived in rather than the rather dry, barren thing it is at the moment. It's at points like this that I wish I had some custom content, but I just never really have the patience to do is it. All the best things wall sculpture. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, <laughs> I quite like that. That's amusing. Uh, stick one of those up. Let's just change the the, uh, the floor carpet. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to move on from this now. Hello, Shizzy. Yes, we're having a little play with this room, making it look a little bit more like a room. And unfortunately, we just run out of cash. So... Um, we are back to
Yeah. All right, okay, I'm going with that color um, because it goes with the walls. I don't particularly like it. And I think I'm just going to have to finish this off and spend some money that we don't have. But I really got to put something on those walls. Uh, wall, where we got walls. Let's get some, let's get some uh, uh, boy band posters up or something like that. It has to be done. Oh, it has to, it has to be done. I'm sorry, it's got to go up. I, I'm such a big fan of that film. Yeah. To Toru. Right, back to the boys. Search for the boy band stuff. <laughs> Bethany and Miranda. Hey, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Okay, alright. Heinrich Stubman and the Gypsies. No. have that and uh, I don't know, I no idea where I got these from but I love them there we go right just got some stuff on the walls just to break it up a little bit I'll spend some more money in here when I got it and it'll just actually start making it look like a proper room but uh, Totoro Totoro has to be done I'm sorry to Totoro has to go on those walls <laughs> um yeah i am a i am a massive uh miyazaki fan i think that his stuff is incredible and uh i had I, a huge fan of it for many years All right let's get some more chairs here in fact we might as well do four there we go right okay <laughs> We've apparently found Simon's equivalent of toddler. <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, feel comfortable now. I've worked on a room in here. I'd love to put more in there, but we don't have the cash. Oh, good lord! Look at how little cash we got left. Oh, uh, that's easily fixed. We sell that. Um, we sell that because we're not going to need that for a little bit. Um, we sell Damien and <laughs> oh, why not? Free vacation. Ellen Grabner and all the adults have just won a sweepstakes and have just been awarded free vacation for two days. Go ahead and relax while you're away from the teens in the household. No. Oh dear. Don't worry about that, my dear. Just go get yourself some... Uh, and perhaps if you check clean out spoiled food afterwards, that's good. Yes, I approve of this mirror. I look quite dashing in it. <laughs> Right, what are we doing with people? Okay, so do sleep, send out a text. You're not mopping up the puddle because you think you will find that's quite beneath you. You clean out the bad food. No, what? 
here's an opportunity to sit and talk with your daughter. She's a teenager now. She'll be going to university soon. So you might as well get used to it. So have some bread and jam and come and sit. Don't too late. Okay. All right. Uh, they just grow up so fast. Right. I want to start teaching her stuff, but I also want to send her out to meet people. So let's see if there's a place where we can do both. So we could go. There is a park. Oh, there is a park here. I kept on looking over here for it and couldn't see it. There is a park. It's here. And if she's going to do science, then learning chess wouldn't be a bad. And there's probably to be a chess set in here somewhere. Or not. What do you want to do? You want to collect festival tickets? You want to have a water balloon fight? Hmm. Have a pool or something like that. We can you could go swimming in and get some exercise and meet some people and what's here? I haven't played this board, for, this 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 city for years. So I don't really know what's in it, to be honest with you. I'm quite surprised. There doesn't appear to be a pool in this one. Quite disappointed by that fact. Right, go to the park. Let's meet some people. Visit B Bridgeport Acres. There we go. Oh dear, it looks like Damien's wet himself. Oh, no, everything else is loaded out. That's good. Right. There we go. So, Damien, I think we're going to need to... Uh, you're going to need to stalk one of your Vic's sorry uh, potential partners. That's Daisy Swizzle. I think we're gonna let's work on Delicia Hoover because that's gonna be nice and uncomfortable after you break up with her. So chat and then send her a love letter. There we go. That'll scare her. And Ellen is still waking up a little bit, so you do that stuff. Send your text. Get yourself sorted out a little bit. And then, unfortunately, you're going to have to fix this. Kizaka. Kizaka Lodzo. Uh, and Damien, when you're done, actually, can you work on your charisma a little bit, mate? <laughs> yeah, that does sound rather painful, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, eating nothing but salad. Uh, yeah, I suppose it could be done. But... And to be totally honest with you, if you were clever about it, there's lots and lots and lots of salad options you could have, but... Uh... Ooh, somebody's making friends. I think they're talking about what they're scared of. Uh, Ellen's scared of clowns and... Who's he? Jupiter Bell. He's scared of... Taking over the world, apparently. Uh, uh, okay. Um, see, we're going to have to... Uh, get working on charisma with her so I think we'll do that this evening so the, the friendly night and day because you're such a good person friendly 
get to know. There you go. See if we can make you a friend.